greetings and welcome in this video session we are going to discuss about properties of fluid as bulk modulus of elasticity and compressibility we know from experience that the volume or density of a fluid changes with a change in its temperature or pressure for the better understanding let's have a look on this cliff here is a balloon which is kept in a boiled water so here we see that the size or volume of the balloon is increasing here is the second observation this balloon is attached on the top of this funnel in which water is heated as the water is boiled the steam is developed by the application of steam the size of balloon is increasing so from these observations it can be concluded that fluids usually expand as they are heated another way here in this demonstration this is a balloon when it is kept in a very cold liquid the size of balloon is reduced so by this observation it is concluded that fluids contract as they are cooled from this demonstration here we see this is the oil which is present inside this tube this oil is pushed by the plunger here so this oil which is displaced this oil is pushing back this second plunger so the volume displaced in first plunger that we see equal to volume displaced in the second plunger so in this case by the application of pressure we don't find change in a volume so it can be concluded that liquids are not contracted as they are compressed in this demonstration clip it is shown that this is the air which is present here in this tube so this air is when pressurized by the application of this plunger so this air is getting displaced and it is pushing back this second plunger but here the volume which is uh, displaced by this second case or in a second plunger that is small as compared to first so that's why in this case by the application of pressure the gas means air is getting contracted so by this it is concluded that gases are contracted as they are compressed this is the industrial application or example of the compressed natural gas that we use as a fuel means cng but the amount of volume change is different for different fluids and we need to define properties that relate volume changes to the changes in pressure and temperature so there are two such properties first is bulk modulus of elasticity and compressibility so let us discuss about bulk modulus of elasticity it is analogous term to the modulus of elasticity in solid it is measure of elasticity of fluid it is defined as the ratio of compressive stress to volumetric strain it is measure of incremental change in pressure dp takes place when volume v of fluid decreases by dv from this diagram it is shown this is a cylinder containing gas this is the piston when the pressure is applied 
on this gas this is the increase in pressure dp so let the parameters v means volume of gas enclosed in the cylinder p is the pressure of gas when volume is v when the pressure is increased to p plus dp the volume of gas decreases from v to v minus dv so here dp is a increase in pressure and uh, dv is decrease in volume now here increase in pressure dp is also called as compressive stress and this ratio dv to v with minus sign is called as volumetric strain here negative sign means the volume decreases with increase of pressure so by the definition k means bulk modulus of elasticity is equal to it is ratio of increase of pressure to volumetric strain mathematically dp by minus dv divided by v there are some other relations in the form of specific volume density and specific weight so the first uh, this is the relation dp means compressive stress to dv by v but this v is specific volume this is dp upon d rho by rho this is rho rho means density this is dp divided by d gamma upon gamma this is gamma gamma means specific weight the second property that is compressibility it is the property by virtue of which fluid undergoes a change in volume under action of external pressure it is reciprocal of bulk modulus of elasticity so compressibility is equal to 1 by k it decreases with increase in pressure of fluid so here for the better understanding we see here in a first photo left side in which liquid molecules are shown so in case of liquid molecules are closely spaced that's why it is not easily compressible they are not easily compressible so here we don't find change in the volume in both cylinder this is the right side in which gas is containing in this case gas molecules are widely spaced that's why here we find here this gas is getting compressed here we see that these molecules in first case are at large space among them here we find this the space is decrease between the molecules so molecules are coming together means in this case gas is getting compressed so that's why we say that gases are highly compressible now it depends on the value of k a large value of k indicates that a large change in pressure is required to cause a small fractional change in volume and thus a fluid with a large value of k is essentially incompressible means large bulk modulus substance is incompressible in nature this is typical for liquids and explains why liquids are usually considered to be incompressible here we understand this is the glass which is filled with water this is the piston cylinder if the water is taken in this and the another end is closed by this finger and other end here by the thumb when the force is applied it is impossible to compress this water 
means in this case the variation in volume of water with variation of pressure is so small that for all practical purposes it is neglected so that's why water is considered as incompressible fluid however in case of water flowing through pipes when sudden or large change in pressure take place the compressibility cannot be neglected so here we see this demonstration this is the flow of water so by closing this valve suddenly we find that this flow is completely stop suddenly so by that here we find the sudden increase of pressure and also here vibrations are produced so this is called as water hammer effect so in such cases compressibility of the liquid cannot be neglected the compressibility in fluid mechanics is considered mainly when the velocity of flow is high enough reaching 20% of speed of sound in the medium so at the end of this session you can explain bulk modulus of elasticity and you can also explain compressibility subscribe the channel thermal engineering for further video sessions thank you